I'd like to welcome you here today to the ceremony at the bell, but I'd like to extend a particularly warm welcome to Alexander and Alexandra <laughs> on this, your wedding day. Through their vows, they'll be making a commitment to unite to one another. And as an extension of their personal union, two families and groups of friendships become one. I first met Alex at the Anchor and Hope, a place many people here hold close to them. I was a skinny, spotty, shy 17-year-old <laughs> cleaning glasses in the garden when I saw Alex walking into the pub. My cousin Andy, who had caught me spellbound by Alex for the last 30 seconds, said, you should ask her out. At the time, this was more terrifying than anything I could have ever imagined, but a part of me honestly knew back then that I would be here today. One of my jobs today is to talk about girl Alex, which I've got to say I'm very proud to do. Now Alex was our first daughter and my little girl. It was soon evident she was going to be somewhat strong-willed. Because nobody else is love. Nobody else's marriage is like yours. And it's a road you can only learn by walking it. And because in the darkness, you will reach out a hand. Not knowing for certain if someone else is even there. And your hands will meet. And then neither of you will ever need to be alone again. We were at work one Saturday morning and he wasn't quite himself, couldn't put my finger on it. He said, got something to ask you. Thinking he wanted more money, I started getting my excuses ready. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your permission to marry Alex, he said. I said, well, you seem a reasonable sort of chap. Why not? It's a pleasure to have him in the family and a pleasure to call him a friend. I'd like to just say what an impeccable friend Alex has always been to me. He will always lend you his advice, no matter how misguided it may sometimes be. <laughs> Another notable characteristic is his appreciation of quality. You just need to look at Alexandra.
to know that one's true. <laughs> but we all love you very much and I'm looking forward to seeing the next chapter of your life and where it takes you. This whole love business is a funny thing, but it's hard to deny it when you see these two together. There's no stopping their love, not even in a global pandemic. I trust him to be there for her, but I'll always be there for her too. I only ever want what's best for my sister, and now I want what's best for both of you.